So what I want to do is uh, look uh, at traditional preaching next. Traditional preaching is reading the text, introduction often through an illustration, which is lovely. Um, so you should grab them with some kind of a fun story. Um, point one, point two, point three, with explanation, illustration, application for each one. So you're trying to get to the what, and the so what, and the now what, but there are three points to the sermon, um, and then you conclude. Uh, the, the crass way of saying this is, you tell them what you're gonna tell them, you tell them when you tell them what you told them. All in about 15 to 16 minutes, and then you sit down, and that is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God, okay? Um, what I'm contesting is I don't think millennials are hearing this way or seeing the gospel in these ways. So the traditional pattern of preaching I don't think is sustainable. And so that's what I'm arguing against. And, and test me. So I, I'm arguing that there are uh, four, I'm seeing four interesting preaching styles that are appearing that seem to resonate with millennials. This is the most, um, this is the most image driven generation in Canadian history. Right? These Canadian millennials, they, if they don't see it, they don't know it. Um, the brain research neuroscience is really clear. We have five classic senses. They're, up, they're actually up to 11 right now, um, the conversation about senses, neuroscientists. But we have five classic sense, senses. What are the five senses? Go. Sight, Sight hearing, yeah. touch, smell. smell, and taste. Those are the five classics. They're up to 11 senses. Do you know, have you heard that? Senses like what? Sense of space? Sense of time. Yes, there's some people who ask them what time it is and they just had it. And like, how did you know that, right? Sense of balance? Um, sense of location? Uh, sense of um, uh, sentiment? Sense, uh, they can sense the body, how people are feeling. It's fascinating, right? Very emotive and they connect. So they're up to 11 senses, but there are five classics. Neuroscience says of the five classic senses, which one engages the least amount of brain power when you use it? Uh, I th Image. Uh, least amount of brain power. Hearing. Hearing. Rose is on it. If you just sit there and listen, it's the least amount of brain heat blooms in your brain taking place. Okay? What sense engages the most amount of heat blooms? Sight. If you see it. Right? So um, this is the most, so when, when someone says, oh, worship is so boring, not that everyone would ever say that, but when someone says it's so boring, um, I think what they're saying is, um, I think what they're saying is, you're not engaging my brain. And God created us this way, right? The whole frontal cerebral cortex is what makes us human beings. It's unique to human beings, right? And we share with the whole of creation, the reptilian brain, the mammalian brain, we share with other mammals, but this whole thing, huge, heavy part of the brain called the cerebral cortex, that is unique to human beings. And I think that's where the imago dei, Latin, sorry, for what? Imago dei, come on. Image of God. I think it's our human brains. I think that's what God created us. That's why we're in God's image, right? If we know this, you know this, come on. We know that seeing engages the most amount of brain power, then imagery is important. So if I was gonna illustrate this, I think this is narrative style. Do you know what this is? It comes from the US desert Southwest. They call them storyteller dolls. I was looking to see if First Nations folks had this, for instance. Um, but I couldn't find anything online. But um, in the desert southwest, they have a tradition of, usually it's a woman, sort of a shamanistic role, and she literally has all these children attached to her body, and she's, she, her role is storytelling. It's a lovely, lovely image in the desert southwest among First Nations peoples. Um, a didactic style, more instructional, um, a discursive or dialogical style, and then what I call inductive or wisdom style. So I'm going to talk about four styles and then we're done for the afternoon, okay?